One out of four Americans still believe prices will depreciate in the next 12 months. Hey, can you believe it? It looks like a lot of what people are seeing in the media right now, and actually I don't really blame them, is kind of doom and gloom when it comes to the real estate market. We're gonna show you right now what the real facts are, what the experts are saying, and just in plain numbers, how things are going right now. So let's get started. So one out of four Americans still believe prices will depreciate. Well, that number has actually gone down since January, as you can see here. January is 37% of Americans thought prices were gonna go down. And in June, that lowered to 26%. So why a lot of people thinking this? Why are we seeing this a lot in the news? Well, as you take a look at this graph here, new listings were expected to absolutely skyrocket last fall and last winter with interest rates doubling. You see how the, the curve of this uh, graph for 2022 is going. You know, after last May and June, everyone thought, okay, you know, listings are gonna uh, continue to increase. And obviously with an increased supply, uh, you would see less, uh, you would see values uh, take a nosedive or values uh, definitely tend to taper off. Well, this is what actually happened. Inventory dropped in thousands. So instead of normally seeing this huge, you know, line to increase going uh, through the end of the year, the, the number of listings actually dropped all the way and it's been far less than it's far less listings that we've seen over the past four years so another thing that's come up recently is foreclosures like a lot of people are thinking well you know we're seeing headlines of foreclosures you know doubling tripling since the year of 2021 well that's because in 2021 and 2020 foreclosures were illegal so of course you're going to see an increase in foreclosures if you know, we had relatively one foreclosure and then you have three the next year, uh, you're gonna have a 300% increase in foreclosures. Don't believe the hype here. Yes, there's a slight increase, but it's only because you can actually foreclose on a property now. Where back in 2020 and 2021, it was against the law. See here with uh, serious delinquencies, they are also on a decline. This is a percentage of mortgage loans that are actually three monthly payments or more past due, those are way down since the beginning of, the, of 2022. Uh, Bill McBride, founder of Calculated Risk, had an inf uh, interesting take. As inventory picked up sharply in 2022, I adjusted my outlook in October and wrote, house prices, seven years in purgatory. I noted that a 10% decline in nominal prices now seemed likely. However, the inventory surge in 2022 was somewhat of a head fake. Some potential sellers quickly listed their homes, probably remembering what happened in the house prices in, 20, in 2006 to 2011, which is known as the Great Recession, but that surge ended pretty quickly and he was 100% right. So what has happened with values on a national scale? Well, month over month, Case Schiller, FHFA, and CoreLogic, well, we definitely took a hit as we got into July, August, of 2022 and that's just because anytime you double the interest rates you're going to see that you know oh, virtually overnight you're going to see that effect but look what started to happen in february according to all three of these surveys prices started to come up again now we're not seeing huge increases in values right now and if you talk to any buyer who's trying to buy right now the they don't feel like prices are coming down at all. There are plenty of bidding wars out there and they're extremely competitive. Um, so prices are actually going up right now. This is kind of a fun take on different metro areas, the top 20 cities and how appreciation has happened in the last three years. Uh, here in Boston, we're at almost 40%, 40% in three years. It's absolutely unbelievable. Uh, if you bought in Tampa, you did pretty well. 63%, almost 64% increase in value in the last three years. Uh, Miami, so Florida is doing really well. And you take a look at San Diego, 52%. I thought everyone was leaving California. So a, a lot of, you know, all throughout the country, we obviously 
have seen a great deal of appreciation. Now let's take a look at inventories. Inventory, uh, month over month in July 2023. Look at us, way up here. Massachusetts and Connecticut, Arizona and Nevada, all showing um, a decrease in inventory compared to the rest of the country. The rest of the country, national average, you have a 5.4% increase in inventory in Massachusetts, Connecticut, Arizona, and Nevada. It's actually a decrease in inventory here in Massachusetts. It's, we're down 3.5%. So, you know, in terms of home values, yes, that's good news. But if you're trying to buy a house right now, we need more of it. We definitely need more of it. And, and right here, you kind of see that, you know, here in Massachusetts, we're, we're more the exception than the rule. So year-end price uh, forecast. So the original forecast was made uh, by these institutions in December 2022 versus their current forecast. And you can see all of these have made adjustments, whereas most were predicting a decrease in values this year. They, at worst case scenario, saying we're gonna be flat. MBA, Morgan Stanley, flat. Fannie Mae says we're up 4%, AEI 6%, Zillow 5.5%, CoreLogic 6.8%. So that's, those are all indicative of a, of a very normal market where we see appreciation you know, in between 3 and 5%. So that's what we're seeing on, on a national level. Here in the Boston um, area, it's, it's very similar. You know, we're starting to see some homes sit in the higher end, the luxury condos are a little bit harder to sell. Luxury homes, some of those are starting to sit a little bit, but anything that's priced under a million dollars and it's priced correctly is moving and with multiple offers. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, it's been summer, which is usually August is the best month to buy by far, always has been for the past 12 years. Interesting to see what happens. We already started to see at an, an open house last weekend in Reading. It was the busiest open house we've had in three weeks. So I think some buyers are now kind of getting out of the summer mode and back into buying mode. So it'll be interesting to see how the market performs towards the end of September. So if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to reach out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next month. Take care. Bye.